Listen, I hope everybody is getting ready to get up, get out, and make some things happen this morning. Listen, we got to talk about a big-time guy by the name of Emmanuel Okoye. Listen, he is uh, like the old-school guy, big-time fullback, uh, Christian Okoye. Listen, it's go time with this kid, on and popping, on and cracking. Listen, he's 6'5", 238 pounds, and listen, he reminds me of a guy um, that's in the 2023 class who just committed to South Carolina by the name of Nico Harbor. If you guys remember, Nico Harbor was extremely fast. I think Nico ran something crazy like a 10-2 in the 100 meters, but this guy's not going to be that fast. Emmanuel's not that fast, but what I do think, um, as far as athleticism, I compare him to a Nico Harbor with that size, the uh, weight, and the athleticism is unreal. We're going to see some footage of him um, and take a look at him. But look, he's the number one player in England. Um, he's out of England, plays in uh, uh, the NFL Academy. So we want to take a look at Emmanuel Okoye real quick and see exactly who he is. He has USC in his top three right now. And so look, it's go time. It's on the pop, and he already took a visit to USC. Uh, he's narrowed his list down to three, and I think that's a very telling sign. So let's take a look at Emmanuel Okoye real quick and see exactly who he is. Let's go. Emmanuel Okoye right here, and as you see, he, here is his top three. And as you see here, he has Tennessee, USC, and Texas Tech as his top three. So look, man, we're going to take a look real quick at Emmanuel and look how athletic he is and why I equate him to a guy like Nico Harbors, who's extremely athletic. All right, this is Emmanuel right here. And when I'm, when I'm talking about Nico Harbor, this guy has a 45, we're talking about Emmanuel, has a 45.5-inch vertical jump. And this is why I equate him to somebody like Nico Harbor. Wingspan is uh, 7 foot 2 inches. And look, man, it's, it's just incredible, man, how athletic and how explosive this guy is. Let's take a look at some highlights real quick. And just adding to some of that athleticism that he has, you see him here just being able to do a straight-up windmill like Dominique Wilkins. Un unbelievable. It's incredible. Um, and, I mean, for a guy to do this, man, to be this athletic as a football player, man, look, we're going to see some highlights with him tied in as well, DN and edge rusher. Let's look at him. All right, we're going to take a look. You can see him here at the defensive end spot, and you're going to see him come in here and make a big time sack. You see the motor on him, but this was only this was his very first game of ever playing football. Um, look, he's never this. He's only played two games, and he's currently playing for the NFL Academy. Um, he's in London, England, and he has, like I said, only two games in, and a very raw talent. And that's why so many people, so many schools are after him right now. You see him here. Um, you could tell that. He has so much, so many tools to work with right now. You, you get a guy like Coach Noah um, or, or, you know, one of our defensive line coaches to really get in there. Greg, even Greg Brown, new dif defensive analyst, really get in there and just work with this guy who's six foot, six foot five, 230 pounds. And right now he's rated the number 42 edge um, overall in the country. And he's the number one player in England. So you can see him here doing some nice things and you see the raw ability um, and, you know, he's able to get after a guy and look, man, I think USC really has a great opportunity here to get this guy. Um, he's, he's rated a four-star prospect. So look, man, it's go time with him. It's only popping. It's only cracking. I'm going to show you guys one more highlight of him and, uh, let you guys see exactly how athletic this guy is. And this is going to be him. He's running the 40 and look, he's running the 40 in a four or five seconds, four or five and to be six, five, two thirty running a 4-5, and this, has got, this guy is very intriguing for the simple fact, not only that he's fast um, at this size, but he does play tight end the same way that Nico Harbors does. Uh, he plays tight end, he plays edge, and he plays defensive end. So you're talking about a guy that has so many different things that you can work with. I mean, coaches absolutely just – you got running backs, though, some running backs that don't even run 4-5. You know, you got running backs, that some that don't run 4-6. It just – it kind of varies, but – 
This guy's extremely fast. It's go time with him. It's on and popping. Um, USC's in the mix for him. I need you guys to hit me up. Let me know what you think about Emmanuel Okoye. All right, hit me in the comment section. Is it go time or is it go time? Is it on the popping with him or is it on the popping? Look, this guy is big time player, big time guy. And look, I want to know from you guys in the comments, do you think USC has a real chance with Emmanuel Okoye? Listen, I think coming from a place like London, England, big time city, and when you look at the schools on the map, no disrespect to other, other states, Texas Tech or Tennessee, but look, he comes from a big time. London, England is a big city, man. And uh, when you look at it, you you know, I think that translates well when you're talking about a city like Los Angeles and all that it has to offer. You guys already know the NIL Collective, uh, Conquest Collective, they were on here. They talked about different avenues, uh, uh, different um, things that they're going to offer within their within their collective. And I think somebody like Emmanuel can really take advantage of that once he gets to USC. Not to not to get to USC, but once he gets to USC, uh, he could take advantage of something like that, all the different resources. Uh, so, look, man, you guys hit me in the comment section. You guys tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe. You guys already know where you can find me. It's going to be USCJ32 on Instagram, USCJ32 on Twitter. Until later on, listen, don't forget, make sure you get up, get out, and make some things happen. Until later on, everybody stay blessed. Fight on, fight on, fight on.